Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not Robbie. I'm Steve Alexander from Serendio. Um, the topic is, is uh, dynamic ontologies, and we're going to talk from a, um, a little bit more of a commercial perspective. There you go. Yes, that should work. Uh, let me get right into it. I want to start with a couple of definitions. Um, there are really, in our view, are two kinds of sentiment mining, what I'll call quick, monitoring-focused, keyword-driven, uh, somewhat superficial, and I don't use that in a negative sense. I really mean in the sense that I can sort of quickly put a keyword in and get a quick response back out. Uh, Starbucks buzz is 85% positive, sort of a canonical example. Uh, the other type is immersive, and, and uh, Claire's talk was around that as well. Um, deep mining, insight driven. Uh, the example I gave, a little bit of a simple example, 23% of Starbucks complaints are about high coffee prices or about long runs or about flake, or about ambulance. So we're getting to a level of detail that allows us to begin to take some action. And that's the kind of, um, that's the kind of sentiment mining that I'm talking about. Let me start off with where we are today, where we think we are, are today. The novelty of this quick sentiment piece is beginning to wear off in the sense that people, when we talk to clients uh, about what, how they're using this stuff, what they're looking for is actionability. I need to make a business decision, or more importantly, a capital allocation decision based on these incidents. And so that's the thing we're after. Actionability, who, what, when, where, why, and the why part is very, very important. And I want to talk a little bit about this dynamic ontology piece. So we begin, if you look on the left, with our harvesting model, where we go off to the social web, the usual Twitter, Facebook, and, the, and blogs. Um, but it may mean uh, niche sites, it may mean community sites, and it may mean emails, and it may mean call center records. So we want to be very agnostic, but targeted on the harvesting side. If you go all the way over to the ontology side, though, that's really what I wanted to talk about for these few minutes. Ontology is basically a catalog of features and attributes and concepts within a particular domain. And we use it as a lens to, to discern you know, the things we care about within that context. So for example, continuing on with the coffee example, um, who are the, what are the brands in that space? Starbucks, Pete, Seattle's best. We can change that list and we can expand it and, and make it smaller. The feature hierarchy, this is typically 50 to 200 different attributes that we care about and that consumers are talking about. Um, the examples here are price, flavor, service, and again, that's typically in the dozens to a couple of hundred different attributes. If it's, if it's cameras, it might be battery life, it might be recharge time, things of that nature. The third piece are the domain-specific phrases, which we have also talked about today. I think the key point here is the word rich is used as an example. Rich, when it comes to pricing, may have a different meaning than when rich is talked about, in this case, of flavor. And so we want to be able to discern that. But ultimately, the targeted harvesting, the CXA, which is our term for customer experience analytics, our NLP platform, and the ontology on the right, are what allow us to get those actionable insights and we can begin to make business decisions with those kinds of insights. We have about uh, a few dozen ontologies from banking to Blu-ray uh, and everything in between. We continue to expand this list and I think the really important point to take away from this slide is that these are dynamic and we can change them. We can change the feature hierarchy, we can change the terminology, we can change the brand catalog and when you do that, you, sh you, you sort of, in a way, orient what it is you're looking at within the context of those conversations. Quick wrap-up. Uh, actionability from sentiment requires deep mining. If you want to make a business decision from it or a capital allocation decision from it, you've got to really get under the underlying reasons of why people are saying what they're saying. Deep mining means ontologies, and just to bring it full circle, ontology management is what drives actionability. Uh, we're going to make a quick announcement today. We have, as I mentioned, uh, over 50 business ontologies that you saw a glimpse of earlier. We're, we're going to put those on effectively open source in a wiki style format over the next few weeks. The idea is that people can come in and, and use them and leverage them. Okay. Management ontology is a perfect thing to do that with and share them. Uh, ultimately, uh, we obviously think it will help Serenio. We also think it will help the marketplace and ultimately help the end user customer. So, if you want to get more information on that, please feel free to stop me or Robbie or send us an email or give us a call. Um, Serendio. Uh, want to learn about ontologies, there's an email address. Want to learn about Serendio. products, an email address for that. And then that's my cell phone number. 
Okay. I can't get that. Here. Type A kind of a kill. Not bad.